previously on Horrible Film Recaps. Now admit you cheated on me. I admit nothing. Hello, folks. Welcome to the UTI convention. Our guest speaker is Captain Cranberry Juice. Three, two, one. And now on to our feature presentation. As I told Lady Freeze when I pulled her plug, this is a one-woman show. Well, that movie sucked, but you can redeem yourself by taking care of a few other cinematic missteps. I'll give you a list, but first you need to recover. Then you can deliver each of them A. Kill Bill. <gasps> See, we have something in common, cool cat. I was thinking maybe. Uh-uh. You know, it's really great to see you, and I was hoping we'd meet under better circumstances. And in a jealous fury, he did me to death. And so, with the list in hand, Uma drives to Vivica Fox's house where she quickly delivers a New Jersey hello. Wow, Vivica. Such a beautiful day. Oh, no, it sure is, Eric. And where is Cool Cat? Can I please have some lemonade now? Of course sure. you can, Cool Cat. Got scared and became confused. You are a real champion. Vivica suggests they head to the kitchen to discuss rotten tomato scores. Uma agrees. Vivica begins. First of all, who are you to talk about flops? Did you forget about your role in movie 43? I'd still rather see that than Solid State. Besides, you were in Batman and Robin too, so back off. Uma retorts. Miss Fox fires back. Bitch, I spent money to see the Avengers, not the good one. Yours. The debate continues, but when Vivica shows off her prop comedy, Uma goes straight for the heart. Uma leaves her three words. Pulp Fiction Bitch. <laughs> I've seen you before. You're the asshole on TV. You were Mr. Freeze. It's time. Now you see this sword? This is the Conan sword. Fair enough. Leaving now. Uma finds Lucy Lou at Lucy Lou's Lucky Lou's and Loose Luge Lounge, where a culture neutral standoff begins. Hey, Nat, the handle's broken. I can't disengage. Case closed, Nat. Move in. Dylan thinks he's hot. Then, one morning, I'm Alex Mundy. I'll be your rescuer today. Full Throttle was bad enough on its own, but you had to voice the video game as well? You are going to judge me? After Kiss Daddy Goodnight? I don't think so. With that verbal sparring complete, Lucy summons her secret weapon. Background extras! Background extras? Really? That's weak. Uh, they work for day rates? Thus they flow onto the floor in waves, much like they did on the set of Waterloo. Yet Uma manages to cut them down like the wages of non-SAG actors in the mocap industry. And so, the two meet on a snowy backdrop at Scenic Universal Studios. You can afford snow? For confrontations? Where did you get that kind of scratch? I got Disney money. I was in Mulan. Yeah, Mulan too. I didn't know the VHS market was so lucrative. Well, you were busy losing box office gross on even cowgirls get the blues. I was testing my range. You were testing the audience's patience. At least I don't wear a wig. 
toupee. I mean, touche. While using the washroom, Uma notices Julie Dreyfus. Run! Run! <laughs> Choosing frugality over jet lag, Uma decides to ship herself via crate to her next target. Unfortunately, the driver is overly aggressive, with accordingly predictable results. <coughs> okay then, can I get a lift to the airport? Meanwhile, at Michael Madsen's trailer, Uma strategizes her attack. <laughs> get somebody else. I'm in the private sector now. I got a, I got a business to run. Well, how did they get to Mars? <laughs> Here you go. Oh, thanks. Hurry, hurry. Like you're gonna be all right. So the star of Motherhood thinks she can judge me, huh? My Driv 3 Ver royalties alone pay for some of the rent on this trailer. Now get off my landlord's property and go see if Tarantino has a gift bag for you. This stings. Unable to think of a retort, Uma leaves the trailer park to ponder her options. The next morning, Daryl Hannah stops by on her way to the business pirate convention. I hope you scared Uma off. I don't want to miss this year's business pirate convention. I'm the featured speaker at the Gross Profits, Gang Planks and Grog Q&A. I thought I'd open with a song. Care to hear it? Okay. Why not? The two wings, can you make the flight? Oh God, that's horrible. The rain is getting heavy. There's a storm tonight. Please. Please stop. The ocean goes below. Ear cancer. So make the morning light. Oh, little wings in flight. And now you've done what booze, drugs, and line dancing never could. I'm dead. So that's a no on the encore then? I hope you scared Uma off. I don't want to miss this year's business pirate convention. With Michael out of the way, Daryl quickly begins grabbing that sweet, sweet driver three royalty cash. The world is very lucky to have you, and so am I. Look, Zordon, I've told you before, Splash 2 isn't happening. Stop asking. And let the power protect you. Yeah, you too. By knockoff Supreme or... Ouch. Could have thought that out better. Seriously. You're going to die for promoting Steve Gutenberg. I only wish I'd starred in Police Academy 3 alongside him. Should have said Cocoon. Nah. <laughs> Fatality. With her list nearly complete, Uma speeds off to the palatial estate of David Carradine, when she thinks to herself, I should have raided Madsen's fridge. I could go for a sandwich. She enters the suite and begins looking for him, when suddenly she spies him. Are you hungry? I was just about to make a sandwich. No trouble. Let your conscience be your guide. Beast never truly existed. And now, neither do I. I'm famished. Thank you. You know, I've got an interesting idea if we could just skip the whole murder thing. Let's hear it first. Let's discuss it on the patio while we eat. Okay. Well, that was tasty. He liked my dressing. So what do you think? Advertising. That's what we could do. No one cares if commercials are good or not. Just imagine it. Someone? 
Well, come on down to Wolfman and Jack's wedding shop and soup kitchen. We've got a priest who's in recovery and soon to be licensed. We'll provide nosy entes to make fun of your guests. We've even got a surly pianist to criticize your relationship. So hurry to Wolfman and Jack's Wedding Stop and Soup Kitchen to reserve a spot. Cause my bookies are starting to get real impatient, just saying. That would be cool, but I poisoned your vinaigrette. Well played, Umo. Well played. Uh. It's over. Sorry, I had to make up for Godzilla 98. This concludes the movie recap. I'm not sure what just happened, but eliminating poor actors is an idea with merit, as long as our greatest performers are protected. If you'll excuse me, I need to do a wellness check on Chris Tucker. Good day to you all. If you've enjoyed our latest display of insanity, please like and subscribe. Don't forget to leave a comment late at night. I read them searching for clues hidden within the woods. <laughs>